welcome to another piano shootout video. My name is Stu Harrison. We are here at Miriam Pianos just outside of Toronto, Canada. And to my left and to my right are the CA78 from Kauai and the DP603 from Roland. I can't think of a better matchup to be comparing. I'm really, really grateful that we were able to get these two side by side. We've got the very best action and tone generating technology from Roland. The Novus 10 aside, the very best action and the tone generating technology from Kauai, and we are going to uh, play them side by side, exactly the same thing, back and forth, 10 second segments, five second segments, so you can really get a good side by side comparison. We'll talk about the differences in the action, we'll talk about the differences uh, in the functionality, and hopefully this just gives you a little bit more insight when you're doing your shopping at home. Uh, of course, I like different things about both of these instruments. There is no clear winner here. This really comes comes down to personal thing. I know when you click on these videos, you'd really like somebody to just say, this is the better one. It's hard to do. The best thing, of course, get yourself into a showroom that, that's local to you. Try them side by side yourself. Um, but if you are in the market in the three, four, five thousand uh, dollar price range, you're thinking digital because of either convenience or uh, you're going to have to move it around occasionally. Uh, make sure that both of these instruments are on your list. They're just incredible values and they're fun musical instruments to play on. So thank you so much for joining us. We're going to get started right away talking about the action. So talking about the actions on these two, there are some similarities, there are some differences. This action is referred to as the PHA 50. It is Roland's top action that they make. It doesn't matter whether you spend double or triple the money, you're not getting anything better than what you're getting right here with the DP603, which to me makes it an incredible value right out of the gate. On the Kauai side, we've got their Grandfield 2 action with let off. It's not quite as compact a name as the PHA50, um, but essentially it delivers a lot of the same fun or the same features rather as the PHA50. You've got let off. Uh, and you've got an extensive use of wood material in the action. The similarities uh, obviously are that they're the best efforts from both of these companies. The other similarities, of course, that they use, may, uh, they make use of wood inside the action. The biggest difference between this action and this action is on the Kauai, the key stick, or in other words, the length of the total key, even after you get in the part behind you can't see, is about this long. It's actually about the same length, uh, or precisely the same length, as what you find on an upright acoustic um, action uh, in terms of the overall geometry. In the Roland, they're using uh, more of the traditional um, balanced hammer, or graded hammer action, but the key section is actually filled with a wood core, and you can see it if you just even press down one of the keys, you can see the wood. That's not a veneer, uh, that's actually real wood in there. And yes, it does make a difference even though you're still using uh, just a, a key with a, a, a balanced hammer counterweight in there. This is an action that I know really well. I'm a user of the Roland RD2000 stage piano. This is a piano that I love. I use it extensively um, on gigs and shows and in studio. Uh, and so it's, it's definitely something that I find to be satisfying action to play. And as I say, yes, the wood is not a gimmick. It actually does make a difference. So we've got wood in both, but we've got um, the longer stick in the Kauai, uh, giving you that sense of, of dynamic motion. Uh, in the Roland, they're simulating a little bit more with the use of a counterweight, but it's done a really nice job. Now, the key bed in both of these is a dream. They don't feel exactly the same, but I would say that the Roland and Kauai key beds are starting to feel a little bit more like each other, whereas if you went back five years ago, um, the Roland key beds were pretty hard when you hit the bottom. It was, it was uh, cushioned with rubber padding, whereas the Kauai's have, uh, for quite a while, actually used felt, just like they do in the acoustics. So when you hit the bottom of the key bed, sort of had a nice cushioned uh, soft landing and sort of had that feeling that if you pushed a little harder you could even get a little deeper and on the Roland it used to be just kind of a thunk. Well they've now also got uh, a really nice cushion on the bottom where you start to feel like no no, no this is a this is a, a real action this is uh, giving me what I would kind of expect out of an acoustic piano. Uh, they both have uh, textured key tops. The Roland is a little bit more textured versus the Kwai. Um, I don't find that to be a big deal. Some people find it to be a much bigger deal. The fact that they are both textured and they uh, have the ability to absorb a little bit of sweat 
Um, uh, I don't have sweaty fingers, but I know a lot of people who uh, get a little bit uh, sweaty when they're playing, or especially if you're in a hot environment. And having that key be able to absorb some of that moisture is actually pretty handy. Otherwise, it just gets to be a slippery mess. Um, they also use triple sensors. Uh, Kawhi's triple sensor system is a little bit different than Roland's, but by and large, I think they're both really responsive. Um, Kawhi's reputation uh, between the two of them is that they, it, it does tend to have slightly more accurate MIDI um, output. Uh, I've observed that in the studio settings, um, but on the other hand, the Roland really doesn't produce too many spikes. It's, it's still also a very, very accurate action. The point is, do they feel the same? No. But they, do they feel miles apart? No. Um, these are subtle differences and it really is going to come down to the style of playing that you do uh, and what you like already uh, or what you're used to. So side by side comparison is really, really critical. But hopefully I've been able to outline some of the differences and you can continue to do a little bit more reading. Which action you're going to like really, in my opinion, comes down to not only what acoustic piano you're already used to, but the style of music that, you're, that you primarily play. Um, I do find that when uh, it, the uh, playing speeds up, um, the Kawai has a slightly uh, heavier sense to it, whereas the Roland uh, consistently stays uh, feeling light throughout. Um, so that might mean that somebody who's already used to playing on a grand and has some muscle tone built up uh, and is used to some classical playing where it takes a quite a bit of fitness to get through it, which is I know what Kawai was going for here, um, you might feel very much at home uh, with this and this might start to feel a little bit too fluid, a little bit too uh, light. Whereas if somebody is maybe more used to playing on an upright piano or your primary experience has already been with digital pianos, this is going to feel super comfortable. Point is, you do have to try them yourself. These are only my impressions, um, but as I said, both very, very satisfying actions to play on. Moving on to features. Now, the instruments have, uh, again, commonalities, and then there are some differences. Um, Roland's um, control surface is pretty traditional in that you've got um, buttons, physical buttons to press and touch uh, for the various functions. So you can adjust its ambience, brilliance, key touch, transpose some of those more basic functions. Uh, you can easily scroll through uh, the categories of sounds. Uh, there's the ability to edit those sounds uh, and save them as presets. And then we've got uh, basic playback, basic record uh, functionality, and we've got uh, rhythm accompaniment. Uh, that rhythm accompaniment uh, from a functionality standpoint uh, to me is the biggest difference between these two. If you've got an iPad and you've got or a, uh, um, a smartphone and you load up Roland's software, uh, you can use the DP603 to have a full band playing along with you, controlled entirely just with the touch of a finger and your left hand to move around the harmony. That's a ton of fun. That's not something that's available on the Kawhi CA. Kawhi has really chosen to uh, focus uh, the energy and, and the, uh, I guess, the money that you're paying for uh, primarily into the piano playing experience. So whereas the Roland uh, starts to, uh, I guess, expand into a number of other um, not so uh, piano specific functions and give you a much broader based set of functionality which is one of the things I really like about it. Uh, it gives you the piano thing but you also have a few extra features on board without having to do it with software. Um, the Kawai uh, from a function standpoint is a little more stripped back. Yes you have the ability to edit the sound, yes you've got this gorgeous touch screen rather than the buttons uh, making the control of the instrument very intuitive and kind of fun to use the touch screen um, but you're missing a few things like the extensive uh, rhythm a sort of a ranger rhythm uh, playback in exchange on the Kawai you're getting an extra two speakers you are getting in my opinion a slightly better sound production overall uh, and as I said, possibly a focus that's just a little more piano centric versus um, uh, more broad based functionality between the Roland and the Kawai. Now, probably the thing that, that everybody who watches these comparison videos wants to hear most is a side by side uh, playing of the instruments where you're hearing the same thing back and forth with very similar settings, very similar volume, and that's exactly what we're going to do here for you today. Um, 
for those who are interested in, in the tech of what we've done here, we've basically taken line out of the DP603, line out of the uh, Kawhi CA78. We're recording them on exactly the same device. There's absolutely no uh, filters uh, or editing that's been done to the sound, um, and the volume on both has been set to 50%. And we have taken factory settings, so there's been no uh, crazy um, uh, sort of editing uh, with any of the virtual technicians, so you're getting pretty much an out-of-the-box comparison. We're just going to go through a couple of patches and play them back and forth so you can really get a good side-by-side -side sense of what the type of tone Kawhi is going for, what the type of tone Roland is going for. So here we go. And exactly the same thing on the Roland. That was, of course, the Kawhi Default SKEX Concert Grand. This is the concert piano that you get as soon as you turn it on out of the box. and just play something a little bit different. Exactly the same patch. And over to the DP603 again. Let's go to like, uh, yeah, so there's one on here called uh, Ballad Piano, it's the second setting. Let's just try the same thing over here. John, why not?
that gives you a sense of some of the differences in the tonal qualities. I mean, what I notice right away is that the Roland tends to, um, I think, bias a little bit towards the, the brighter sound. Uh, the Kawhi seems to have a, a bit more presence around the lower and the mid tones, uh, and generally is a little bit of a, a softer edge to it, and a little bit um, just sounds a bit uh, like a fatter lower tone. Your ear is likely to just have a preference the minute that you hear them. One last thing for people out there who are a little tech savvy, uh, both of these instruments come equipped with wireless Bluetooth MIDI, which means that you can take your iPad or your smartphone, load them up with the proprietary software from both Kawhi and Roland, and control these uh, remotely. It gives you tons of extra flexibility, and of course, you can use them with apps uh, like GarageBand uh, or uh, any other uh, kind of mobile DAW software. It's a ton of fun, uh, so there's lots of expansion capabilities. Anyway, uh, we'll wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching again, but most importantly, I hope this has been useful. Please let us know uh, in the comments below what you liked about the video, what you'd like to see more of in, in future videos, uh, and I hope that this has uh, genuinely helped your shopping experience. Of course, if you're anywhere near Toronto, please come and visit us at Marion Pianos in either one of our showrooms where we've got both the DP603 and Kawhi CA78 on display at all times. Thanks so much. Happy shopping.